Bernard, 41, and Paulette, 40 were a couple who in 1988 lived in Cascade, Minnesota with three of their four children. David, 16, Diane, 14, and Rick, 9. The family was very Catholic and both Bernard and Paulette were very strict parents. Many people said that 16-year-old David was a good boy who went to church every week, was a babysitter for the neighbors and also helped them clear the roads when there was snow. David and his father used to have arguments about the music that the boy listened to until the night of February 8, 1988. One of these fights had fatal consequences. The next day, the teachers of the Catholic school that David was going to began to hear quite disturbing rumors. Apparently the boy, who had not gone to school that day, had told some friends that the reason for his absence was because he had murdered his family. The teachers immediately warned the police and when they showed up at the Brahms house they found a chilling scenario. In the hallway of the house, the lifeless bodies of Paulette and Diane were found in their respective rooms. The bodies of Bernadette and Rick were also found. The authorities came to the conclusion that Bernard and Rick had been attacked first, and later killed the women when they approached to see what was happening. Apparently everyone had been assaulted with an axe that they finally found in the basement of the house. The only member of the family who did not die was the eldest son of the Brahms who at that time lived outside. This young man was discarded as a suspect because he had a fairly solid alibi and because the only traces they found on the axe were those of David. The police immediately started looking for the 16-year-old teenager and thanks to a sighting David was arrested the next morning. In his possession they found a wig and makeup, which led them to think that he was going to dress up to run away. After being arrested, David confessed that he had taken his family's life because his father wouldn't let him listen to his favorite music. The trial began in September 1989 and despite being 16 years old at the time of the events they decided to judge David as an adult so as soon as he started he pleaded not guilty for mental reasons. It should be mentioned that at that time if in Minnesota someone pleaded not guilty for this reason, the trial was carried out in two phases. The first to determine whether or not he was guilty and the second to determine if he had mental problems at the time of the events. During the first phase, many of David's friends testified and said that the boy had been planning to take his family's life for six months. According to a friend, David called her that same day to tell her everything he had done. Finally, on October 3, 1989, just when he turned 18, the jury found David guilty of four counts of murder in the first degree. The second phase of this trial began two days later to determine his mental state at the time of the events. The medical records indicated that shortly before what happened David was very depressed and that he had tried to take his own life twice. His lawyer added that he suffered from a multiple personality disorder. This second phase of the trial lasted a week and despite the efforts of his lawyer the jury determined that at the time of the events David knew perfectly well what he was doing, so he was also found guilty. He was finally sentenced to four life sentences and will not be able to apply for parole until the year 2041. The punishment was imposed by Judge Ansi Morse of the Olmsted County District Court, who said that the case was an extreme and monumental tragedy caused by a depressed and pathetically sick mind. David is currently 53 years old and is serving a sentence in Stillwater, a state prison located in Bayport, Minnesota.